Hello everyone, my name is Eric. With me today is the Pro Magnon Aquitaine Robusto Extra, and you are watching Oakland Tobacconist. <music> Hello everyone, welcome to Oakland Tobacconist, where we make the hard to find within reach. If you're interested in this Romacraft cigar or many other Romacraft sticks, check us out at oaklandtobacconist.com. So today's review is a cigar that I have tried many, many times. However, I've never done a formal review or really in-depth review of. I've tried it before. I do know there are certain aspects I love about this cigar, but it's time to really have the rubber hitting the road. The cigar that is accompanying me is the Romacraft Cro-Magnon Aquitaine. This Robusto Extra is a 5x56 Nicaraguan stick using an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper. Basically in between a mid light brown like creamed coffee color and then a really dark Maduro color. The veins are very pronounced and the texture as well. So we are going to go ahead and light this up and see where it brings us for this Robusto Extra. First a dry draw. Very much salty. Salty, musty earth that's uh, kind of on the top. Hardly any sweetness at all. Let's go ahead and get it toasted and see where we begin. There we go. Off to a great start. The draw is wide open and there is a blast of flavor. Let's go ahead and figure out what those flavors are. As you can see as well, the smoke output is fantastic. What I'm really getting right now is there is a bit of coffee bean. I'm getting a very dense, rich, like, uh, German chocolate cake. Like the type of cake that you, you, you just, you bite into is very filling, fills up the palate. Um, but it's not that kind of bitter chocolate you find in some of the cigars. It's not that like very light milk chocolate, but it's very much like a dense, rich chocolate element to it. There's also a bit of, uh, of coffee bean on the back end. Um, not so much earthy, interesting. On the dry draw, there was quite a bit of earth and saltiness, which is almost non-existent so far. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a second puff and see where we land. So there's also a little bit of saltiness, I would say, if I really try to find it. Maybe a little bit on the lips. The Retro Hill has a little bit of spice to it. Um, definitely like black pepper spice, but not overwhelmingly so. Um, but it's just a very full cigar. When I think of the term full body, this cigar has to be in that mix. It fills up the palate completely. It has a full rich element to it um, and covering a lot of different things, but most prominently like a German chocolate cake filling, an espresso or coffee bean on the back end. I would also say a little bit of a bready note, like a sweet rye, like an almost marbly rye element to it that's kind of lingering on the finish. So that's our beginning for the uh, flavor notes on this uh, Aquitaine Robusto Extra. I'm gonna continue to smoke it and we'll see where it lands us in the second, third. So here we are back in the second third of this Cro-Magnon Aquitaine Robusto Extra. Now here's what I'll say, I'm enjoying the flavors a lot. However, it does get dinged for construction. And I don't know if it's just this cigar or if it's continual, um, but I will say is as much as I love the flavors, it went out on me once. It was threatening to go out a few times and I've had to relight it. Um, and the unfortunate thing is I've found with a lot of Ecuadorian Habanos, the more you light them, they tend to heat up quite a bit. And that's what I'm experiencing here. With that stated, when they do become hot and then when you're becoming into that like second, third, there is an element I find this a lot in this type of tobacco where there's like a sweet savory element almost like a like a smoked meat or a smoked barbecue that's on the sweeter side it's not the overwhelming uh flavor but i will say that is what is in this next transition so i curious if it was smoking and it did not go out then uh, what flavors would be having right now with that stated i am enjoying the flavors and oftentimes a construction thing like going out i mean you set a cigar down you keep on moving that's not always the biggest like deal breaker for me but it is one of the first cigars that's gone out on me having to uh, do a review. With that stated, I'm gonna try another puff and then we'll see second thoughts. So 
So I would say that the retro has remained the same in the sense that there's a little bit of pep around there. It's not overwhelming, it's enough to satisfy. Um, but predominantly there's this savory element, there's this sweet element, a little bit of that espresso that's kind of died off. Um, and I'm curious to see if that will come back through the next transition. However, we've gone from this like chocolatey and espresso element to more of a savory, like meaty element. I would say if there's some consistency to it, it's definitely on the fuller bodied side. Strength level remains about medium plus, um, but this small Robusto packs quite a wallop as far as uh, body and strength. So I'm gonna continue to smoke this and we'll meet back on the final third. Okay, here we are, final third. Gromagnon Aquitaine. It's definitely ramping up in strength. Uh, that is one thing I will say about Roma Craft. It never lacks for flavor, never lacks for strength. I'm gonna still say medium plus, um, but it is a little bit edgy. Um, with the transition, uh, that pepper note still remains on the retro, so what I really enjoy is if, if that's an element that you like, it's a consistency throughout. Sometimes when you have that like really that flavor blast, that retro that's really heavy hitting and then it dies off, sometimes it can be a letdown, sometimes it can be really nice. This continues to keep up, so that is something really interesting. I've had to correct the burn a little bit, so I would say overall, it definitely loses uh, a little bit of gravity as far as the burn, as far as burning even and going out. That has been somewhat of a chore to keep it going. However, it's disappointing because I do really enjoy the flavor. So I'm gonna go one more time, second thoughts, and we'll finish here on the Aquitaine. So some of that savoriness remains, but some of that sweetness is coming back. So I partly wonder if maybe the heat from lighting it up leaned heavily into the savory element, um, but now some of that sweetness is returning. Um, and it's made quite a bit of transitions. I would say for those elements of savoriness and chocolatey really brings it together and some of that espresso is coming back on the finish. Once again, that is the Cro-Magnon Aquitaine. Thank you so much for smoking with me here on the channel. And as always, we will see you next time on Oakland Tobacconist.